I felt very sad for Reg Cray for the simple reason I met Reggie seven times. I knew his brother Ronnie. We were very close. I felt sorry for Ronnie because he was an absolute psychopath. But unfortunately, they couldn't help him. And I'm saying that with a true heart. Even though he's dead, his brothers are dead, I don't say it with any malice. I say it with a true heart. And poor Ronnie was very, very ill. Needed a lot of help. But I didn't see what had interfered with his brother, Reggie. I thought what Reggie Cray got was disgusting and scandalous and he should have gone to the European courts 15 years prior to his sentence and he would have got off with it because he only killed one person called Jack the Hat McVitie who he didn't even finish off because I know the culprits that finished off Jack the Hat McVitie. It wasn't Reggie Cray. In fact, Reggie was opposite to Ronnie. He was the one that he would not kill. Reggie stood back. Ronnie was the boss. Ronnie was the psycho. Ronnie was the power and that's why he was called the Colonel because Ronnie Cray was the boss of bosses in Britain. He was afraid of no man or no government. He was himself a proclaimed boss. Do you know the Americans even today, I only spoke to them a couple of weeks ago, today they regard Ronnie Cray as the colonel of all colonels. He was a boss and he done his whatever years he got. But Reggie Cray should not have done what he did, 33 years, and allowed out two months to die for one gangster's murder who threw his wife out of a car because she asked him for sweeties, who was fat, repulsive, uh, she was obesity, she ate like a pig, and he hated her because of what she was. But, he threw her out of a car, Jack the Hat McVitie. He was an evil, disgusting gangster. And the law, it was Judge Milton Stevenson, who later I spoke to in Andover with Lord Denning. And I said to Milton, as we all call each other by our second names in, in the Oxford world, by our second, I'm called Von Victor, or Judge. I call him Stevenson. And Lord Denning, I call him Denning. We call ourselves by our surnames because that's the old school. I said to Stevenson once, why did you pronounce both 30 years with a recommendation that they do 30 years when you didn't characterize the difference between one or the other? And he said to me, because they were twins. They knew what they were doing. But I said, Reggie was born 25 hours after Ronnie. So how can you place them? They weren't identical twins. The arguable point came to that he was a notorious gangster, well, his brother was, Ronnie, who held up the West End. There's crimes I could tell you about that would make your hair stand on edge, which I know about, with Maltese Joe, all of them, Ben Lipman, but I don't believe that Reggie Cray should have served. And I spoke on uh, British television. Good morning, is it? Good morning, GTM. And I, 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 I shouted and swore, which I don't normally do in public. But this girl came in front of me with a, a microphone. I couldn't see no camera, so I thought she was taping it. And I said, I think Jack Straw should be ashamed of himself. For the simple reason, there are people that interfere with children who get five years and they're out in two and a half. This man killed a gangster, a gangster who was evil, and Milton Stevenson put him away for 30 years, and that man was doing 33 years before he came out to die, two months he had liberty to die in a bed and breakfast. And a, a final question, how would you like to describe yourself for this video? We I'd like to describe myself as a, a person who is willing to help those in need, those who feel that uh, the authorities are above them. I don't think any authority is above anybody. No matter how little a man is or how small he may be, 
there's always someone there to represent him even if he hasn't got one dollar in his pocket or one cent I will be there to represent anybody that needs me um, have you got any regrets about anybody that you represented I've got no regrets the only regret I have is the fact that a dear friend of mine called Charlie Cray I flew in from Capri, where Don Felucci gave me a villa. I flew in the last couple of days of Charlie Cray's trial, and I asked Jonathan Goldberg to postpone that trial so I could get George Carmen, my friend, my dear friend George Carmen, who is now dead, who I love so much. And he said he couldn't because the summing up was the next day. And I was so disgusted with Jonathan Goldberg that I said to him, Jonathan, all I can say to you is, I wouldn't allow you to represent my mother's Yorkshire Terrier, who's the size of my hand. That's how much I think of your barristership. That's all I've got to say. Okay.